and gentlemen of YouTube, how are we doing? In today's video, we're going to be checking out the Honest trailer for The Mandalorian, which... Yo, if you have not seen The Mandalorian, do not watch this video, yo. Honest trailers are full of spoilers, mate, so you have been warned. There's always that one person. That is why I'm saying, but ladies and gentlemen, if you have seen The Mandalorian, then you know how sick this is, mate. Season 1, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Straight up, masterpiece, one of my favourite TV shows of all time. And yo, at the end of the week, season two is here, baby. I cannot wait. And you know it's going to be a straight up banger, mate. So now, ladies and gentlemen, let's waste no more time. Let's check out what screen junkies are saying. If you know how sick Mandalorian is, smash the like button. Do it. Go. This episode State is sponsored by Farm. State Farm. After Star Wars was ruined forever thanks to the monsters at Disney, Star Wars will be unruined by an all-new streaming series made by the monsters at Disney. <laughs> I'm confused. Do they hate us or not? This is the way. The Mandalorian. This is the way, mate. <laughs> Anakin was supposed yes. to bring balance. Luke should have saved the day. And Ray just ended up squatting at the farm of her mentor's uncle that he hated yeah. and couldn't wait to Leave it alone, from. man. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Not today, episode nine. Now, as our heroes fall, one <laughs> food truck enthusiast will rise, revitalize the franchise in his VR garage, Favreau, you and beast. keep the empire in business. <laughs> With eight <laughs> episodes of Western Rifts, they got the fan base all up in their feelings over a Muppet baby. Kathleen Kennedy? More like Crapling Kino. <laughs> Suit up with Din Jaren, aka Mando, which starts Mando. to sound like a slur the more you hear it. Hey, Mando, hand over the child, Mando. Get that plaster out of my face, Mando! <laughs> uh, guys, that's their word. Are you sure we can use it? A truth -a. Mando. After the prequels literally ruined his childhood, follow this wandering bounty hunter on a tale of redemption in between a whole bunch of actual wandering. <laughs> Those walking scenes. I can't wait to see season two, man. As he jets from exotic locales to less exotic locales <laughs> to a quick detour to Moss Nostalgia to pick up a delivery of Easter Moss eggs. Moss Nostalgia! Tuscan Raiders. But screw it. How fun is it to dick around in the Star Wars universe without some sad yeah, kid man. and their daddy issues killing the vibe, man? Everything will change <laughs> when this lone, not a Gungan gunman. Maybe he's a Gungan. Meets the most adorable MacGuffin of all time, the child. Facts, mate. Okay, you know what? We're not doing that. He's a baby Yoda. We're calling him Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda from, from uh, day one. He's a magic puppet <laughs> who can kill you with cuteness. And if that doesn't work, he can always just kill you. Choke the hell out of you, mate. <laughs> but one thing is for certain. He's not nearly as precocious when they reveal he's actually a middle-aged man. They said 50 years old. I'm on to you, Baby Yoda. You can talk. You're just some creepy boomer with a diaper fetish, aren't you? <laughs> I can't believe I let my kid play with you. Saddle up for brand new Star uh. Wars adventures, the likes of which you've never seen before. But don't freak out. Look, familiar stuff. Tatooine. Yes. Us stormtroopers. Good. <laughs> Breathe. Good. In this tale of one man's destiny to clear an extremely low bar, be the best single dad in Star Wars. <laughs> but this father-son duo won't travel alone. Uh, There's Queel, who finally yes. gave a modern update to talk Beast. to the hand. I have spoken. I have spoken. That line is spoken. So Tobias sick. Fumke's acting coach. You take this home, throw it in a pot, add some broth, a potato. Baby, you got a stew going. And Cara Dune, <laughs> the ex-rebel with less range than the guy in the helmet. So we're going to build a trap. We're going to need to dig real deep right here. So that when it steps in, it drops. Together, they'll encounter scum, villainy, and the best alternate dimension cast of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. <laughs> Horatio Sands, Brian Fossein, <laughs> Amy Sedaris. That episode, though. Bill Burr. Where he just wrecks them all. Richard Iowate. So sick. Jason Sudeikis. And your host, Taika Waititi. Yeah. You suffered damage to your central processing unit. You mean my brain? That was a joke. 
So strap in for a show that every level of Star Wars fan can enjoy. That's Whether a you're fact a new well, who yeah. just wanted to know why Baby Yoda was on your kid's Christmas list, but stuck around because it reminded you of the Searchers. A casual fan who spent eight episodes wondering why Luke Skywalker wasn't in the Boba Fett show. Or a hardcore <laughs> nerd who needed validation for keeping your toy collection mint in box all these years. Yeah. What is that? The Imperial Troop Transport? Of my youth? It's, <laughs> it's beautiful that owes its success to telling a simple lean story about an all-new family in the Star Wars universe. And because it was a hit, they're probably about to weigh it down with a bunch of lore crossovers and spin-offs. Hopefully <sighs> This no. is the way. Starring Dark Helmet. I'm 50. Baby, you've got a root leaf stew going. MMA? Los Pollos Imperiales. <laughs> Werner Herzog as himself. I see nothing but death and chaos i would like to see the baby yes satan i'm sorry sir you sounded like someone else the babysitter clubs <laughs> oompa loompa doompa dee den shut your dumb mouth cuz i have spoken the outer skyrim how do you like the mad huh legit <laughs> boba feed let's make the baby do the magic hand thing come on baby do the magic hand thing <laughs> that's not how the magic hand thing works Nerds of the Round Table. And when my friends ask what fastball song we're listening to, this is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. This, this is, is the, the best way. line this ever. Is the way. This is the way. The outer rim job. Oh. <laughs> and once again, the galaxy has a mostly mechanic, bounty hunting, and cantina centric economy. No one's ever a real estate agent in these things. Marketing. Somehow the Star Wars universe remains dentist free. Don't they have teeth? Another banger from Screen Junkies. Big, big love. Yo, man, I'm glad they said it in the Honest trailer. I've said it so many times in so many different videos of the channel. Every single person. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know and you can agree that The Mandalorian is properly slick, mate. I mean, people like prequels. People don't like prequels. Everyone likes the OG. That's a straight fact, mate. And people like the sequels and people don't like the sequels. But everyone can agree... The Mandalorian is properly sick, mate, ladies and gentlemen. Question of the day. Who's your favourite character from The Mandalorian? I'm guessing I'm going to be seeing a bunch of baby owners in the conversation, but please let me know in that conversation below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Again, a big love to Screen Junkies, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is the way. Hey!